everyone. Town officials, dignitaries, veterans, members of our armed forces, and the great citizens of Westboro. Welcome to the 2023 Westboro Veterans Day celebration. My name is Elisha O'Brien. I serve on the Westboro Veterans Advisory Board, and I'm a detective with the Westboro Police Department. This morning, I will be your master of ceremonies, and I'm honored to be here. The town of Westboro has a proud legacy of citizens who have served our great nation in uniform. To the service members, past and present, here today, thank you. Thank you for answering the call to duty. Your service and sacrifice represent the best of us and the best of America. The service members we honor today came from all walks of life, but they shared several fundamental qualities. They possessed courage, pride, determination, selflessness, dedication to duty, integrity, all qualities needed to serve a cause larger than oneself. Indeed, this year marks the 40th anniversary of the bombing of the Marine Barracks in Beirut, Lebanon. One of Westboro's own, Captain Haskell, perished in that event, whose memorial is here today. To start the program off, I invite Reverend Cigar of St. Luke's Church of Westboro to give the invocation. Let us place ourselves in the holy presence of God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, we want to lift up our voices in heartfelt thanksgiving for the veterans who have served and sacrificed for us. We think of how they put their lives on the line and gave themselves for the country and people who they loved and served. We are grateful for their selflessness that has been a blessing to so many, even in the face of hardship, loss, and pain. We want to take a moment to honor them for the many ways that they have sacrificed and have been separated from their families. We think of those veterans who have fallen and their grieving loved ones. We pray for your comfort to surround them and that they will hold tightly the hope that is found in Christ, not only for this life, but for the one beyond. We also pray for our 550 living veterans who have returned home from their duties or from battlefield. Thank you for protecting them and sparing their lives. May they be a reminder, for, reminder to us of those who may not be with us anymore and who served faithfully alongside them. We want to give thanks and honor to all our veterans whom we celebrate today. Thank you for the freedom that we get to experience today because of their selfless service. During this gathering, we also lift up our, our hearts heavy with the weight of loss. Comfort those who bear the pain of absence from their loved ones who served our nation. Amidst the pain, remind them that their sacrifice will be remembered forever in our nation's history. As you said in the Gospel of Matthew, where there are two or three people gathered in your name, you will be in the midst of them. We are praying that your presence be a soothing balm to their wounded souls and a act of strong comfort in their grief. Strengthen them with the knowledge that their loved one's sacrifice will never fade and their legacy leaves on. Surround them with the embrace of your unfailing love and grant them the courage to carry on, holding tightly to the precious memories they cherish. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the blessings of the Almighty Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit always come upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. Now, the Westboro High School a cappella group, Don't Panic, will perform the National Anthem. During the National Anthem, those not in uniform are asked to remove their hats Veterans are invited to hand salute.
I now invite Westboro Select Board Chair Sean Keough to say a few words and present the wreath. Hello everyone. Thank you for being here today to honor and celebrate our veterans. Veterans Day is a special day when we pay tribute to all the men and women who have served in our armed forces and defended our nation with courage and sacrifice. Veterans Day originated as Armistice Day, November of 1919, and we recognize it now as a holiday since 1938. Today, there are more than 18 million veterans in the United States representing every branch of the military and every generation of Americans. They come from diverse backgrounds, cultures, and experiences, but they share a common bond of patriotism, loyalty, and dedication. They have fought for our freedom, democracy, and human rights, often at a great personal cost. They have witnessed the horrors of war, the pain of loss, and the challenges of recovery. They have also shown us the values of honor, duty, and service. One such individual we honor here today, Marine Corps Major Retired Michael Beretti Sr., who served his country in Vietnam. I'm sure there'll be further discussion of Mr. Beretti today there is a wonderful interview of Mr. Brady by U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Retired Preston Marshall done on the Veterans Corner program with the support of our Westboro TV. I highly recommend watching. Mr. Brady, as with many veterans, felt the need to continue to serve even after he left the military. He has served his community as a member of the Westboro Charter Review Committee, the Town Manager Search Committee, and the Advisory Finance Committee, including multiple years as its chair. Major Beretti, thank you for both your service to our country, but also for your service to our community. We owe all veterans a debt of gratitude that can never be fully repaid, but we can express our appreciation and respect by saying thank you, by listening to their stories, by supporting their needs, and by remembering their sacrifices. We can also honor them by living up to the ideals they fought for, by being good citizens, by respecting our differences, and by helping our neighbors, and by working for peace and justice. On this Veterans Day, let us salute our veterans for their bravery, their commitment, and their love of country. Let us also honor their families and friends who have supported them along the way. And let us never forget that freedom is not free, but it is the gift of our veterans. Thank you veterans for your service and your legacy. You are our heroes and our inspiration. God bless. With that said, it is with great honor and privilege for me to now introduce the 2023 Veterans Day Grand Marshal, Michael Beretti. 
Westboro Veterans Advisory Board member, Marshall Preston, to provide a little background on Michael. Thanks, Alicia, uh, and thank you, Sean. As Sean said, Michael Baretti Sr. is a United States Marine Corps Major retired. He entered the service uh, via the Marines Platoon Leadership Program, so spent his summer between junior and senior year at St. John's becoming a Marine down at Quantico and learning uh, all that that wonderful culture and core brings. From then, he moved, he was assigned out to Vietnam where he spent a combat tour as a logistician. When he got out there, um, the commanding officer had actually looked at him and said, I don't see you on our inbound roster. Um, so there was a bit of hold tight, and then they discovered that you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in the Mediterranean. But you made it this far. Why waste a good thing? We'll change those orders for you. So they changed the orders, and he got to spend a combat tour in Vietnam. Uh, and for that, he was awarded a Purple Heart and a Naval Achievement Medal. After his combat tour, he finished out his active duty uh, time, returned to the States, moved into the Marine Reserves, and moved into his business career. Served with Polaroid uh, in California and New Jersey, and then finally settled here in, New in Massachusetts in 1974. So next year will mark 50 years of him as an active resident and member of our uh, distinguished community. And as Sean said, he contribute, continued to contribute in the Marine Corps and the Reserves, but more than that, like many of you, dove into this community and became a, a volunteer coach, a volunteer on civic organizations, and just recently concluded as, as the finance chair for the town. Um, he is a family man as well, two kids, Dina up in Maine, and Michael here locally in Westboro, and six grandkids that he is very proud of. Michael, thank you for your service to the country, to the Marines, and to the community. Congratulations for being a Grand Marshal, and we couldn't be more honored. Thank you, Marshall. I now invite Senator Moore to present Grand Marshal Michael Beretti with a citation. Come on up, Michael. Um, well, first, it's an honor to be here today. Um, I'm very proud that I have the opportunity to present you with these citations. Nothing we say or do or give you today can ever compare to the sacrifices that you you and your fellow veterans have made on behalf of us in our country and with also your family. So I have first um, from Representative Kate Donahue who could not be here today. She's actually had another ceremony. I have a citation from the House Representatives. The House Representatives, be it hereby known to all that, the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Michael Barrett Sr. in recognition of being Westboro's 2023 Veterans Day Grand Marshal and for your service as a Marine Service, a Marine Corps Major. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for fortune, uh, good fortune, and, re and continued success in all these endeavors. It's signed by Representative Hannah Kane. Representative Kate Donahue on given this day, November 11th, 2023, and it's also signed by the Speaker, the Speaker of the House, Ron Mariano. Ron Mariano. Yes, so I had, now I have one from the State Senate. Be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to Michael Barrett, Sr., Major U.S. Marine Corps, retired, in recognition of serving as Grand Marshal Veterans Day Westboro and with appreciation for your dedicated and selfless service to your country. And be it further known that the Massachusetts Senate extends its best wishes for continued success that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Senate and attested to in a copy thereof transmitted by the clerk. It is signed by the Senate President Karen Spilker and myself and again, congratulations, and thank you so much for all your service on behalf of all of us. Thank you. Yeah. 
Selectman Sean Keough and Senator uh, Michael Moore are going to now place the wreath. Thank you, gentlemen. I, I won't keep you no more than a half hour, I promise. <laughs> you know how professors are. Uh, Senator Moore, select board members, Westboro Veterans Advisory Board President and Lieutenant Colonel Jim Tepper and Advisory Board members. Thank you for inviting me to serve as Grand Marshal for today's ceremony. I am really honored and humbled because I know there are many more veterans in this community who are far more deserving. Every Memorial Day we rightfully and reverently honor those men and women who gave the full measure of devotion to our country, cutting short their young lives and what might have been. Our country will never forget. In contrast, today, Veterans Day, is a day of observance, reflection, and celebration. Today, we celebrate the remarkable contributions of the members of our armed forces and the things and sacrifices they have done for America. Today we recall those millions of men and women in our history who fought our wars, as well as those who stood watch over us during those brief periods of tranquility in between. In the words of President Ronald Reagan, it is our solemn obligation to celebrate our veterans because they stand as the transition between the struggle for life and liberty and the peace that follows. All those who have worn this nation's uniform deserve this nation's thanks for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve for the greater good. So who are these veterans? Who are these heroes? And what are their sacrifices? There's no need to look very far because they're in plain sight. They may be our neighbors, our friends, our children's and grandchildren's teachers, and coaches, our civic leaders and town employees, and of course, our first responders. They may be the small business owner in our downtown business district, or the auto salesperson on Route 9. They may be the local construction workers who built your home, or those you hire to help maintain it. They may even be the person who serves you your morning coffee from the drive through window. Every day in Westboro, we chance an encounter with one of these heroes. At first glance, they may seem ordinary, but truly, they are extraordinary. Because when they raise their right hands to uphold and defend our precious Constitution, they simultaneously wrote a virtual blank check to the U.S. government to be cashed at a time and place unknown and payable in an amount up to and including their very lives. Unfortunately, many of our veterans have had those checks cashed and returned from war with both visible and invisible moons. And perhaps, perhaps even exposure to toxins which do not make known their ugly human consequences for many years. These physical and mental health disabilities often leave them in need of care from a system that can often be unresponsive. And while improving, has been that way for far too long. We need to get that one right sooner or later. And far too many of our heroes, for unfathomable reasons, are just forgotten living on the streets of our cities and towns. I'm sorry, but this is a morally indefensible obscenity and a stain on our country. We make a simple promise to our service members. 
if you serve honorably, you will receive the benefits we agreed, and we will take care of you. We must keep that promise, always. Let's remember, too, the sacrifices made are shared by service families as well. Today's active service members and veterans represent the most deployed force in our nation's history. They experience multiple separations from their families and their families from them for long, often agonizing periods, and too frequently the results of those many separations upend even more lives. And finally, let's not forget our missing veterans. Until we know their final disposition, until they are brought home, they are in spirit as much a part of today's celebrations as we are. No one left behind is and must, for, must forever be our mantra. In spite of the hardships endured, the sacrifices made, and the promises sometimes unfulfilled, America's military and veterans continue to bring life to the words of President Kennedy, who famously said, we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, and oppose any foe to ensure the survival and success of liberty. Americans, military, and veterans have proven they can stand and deliver on those words at any time and in any climate and place. We are, without doubt, the land of the free because of the brave. And so I say to my fellow Westboro veterans, when you hear those words, Thank you for your service. Stand proud and tall. Not because you could when others couldn't, or because you did when others didn't, but because, without doubt, you earned them. Thank you. Thank you, Grand Marshal Michael Beretti. I now invite Westboro Veteran Advisory Board Chair James Tepper to say a few words. Thank you, Alicia. First, Mike, thank you very much. Congratulations. We're proud of your accomplishments. Thank you, well, it's almost 11 a.m., or just beyond 11 a.m., the question is, the 11th month, the 11th day, and the 11th hour, what is its significance? 105 years ago, on November 11th, 2018, at 11 a.m., an armistice was signed which called for a ceasefire of hostilities that were raging between the Allied nations and Germany. World War I, or the Great War as it was called, was subsequently brought to an end on June 28, 1919 with the Treaty of Versailles, but it has been 11-11-11 that we all remember as the ending of the war. Over the years, there have been changes to the celebration guidelines set in place by the legislature and the states regarding when the day is celebrated. In 1938, Armistice Day was created and declare a national holiday. 16 years later, 1954, President Dwight Eisenhower signed legislation changing the day to Veterans Day. From then on, Veterans Day became a day to honor American veterans of all wars. In the ensuing years, there were changes to the timing of the celebrations due to the uniform holiday law Monday holiday law, and variations between states as to when the holiday would be celebrated. After it became evident that the actual date of Veterans Day, November 11, carried historical and patriotic significance to many Americans, President George Ford signed a new law returning the observance of Veterans Day to November 11. Veterans Day is a day for us to pay tribute to all American veterans, living or dead, but especially gives thanks to living veterans who served their country honorably during the war 
or peace talks. In the words of President John F. Kennedy, homeless and at-risk veterans need more than just shelter. We must give them tools to empower themselves and reclaim the self-worth and dignity which comes from occupying a space in the American dream. It's a dream they fought so hard to defend for the rest of us. So as the chairman of the Veterans Advisory Board, I do want to thank you all for participating today, coming out on such a nice, clear, crisp day. Alicia O'Brien, our secretary, and board member Marshall Preston arranged today's program, so I thank them for that. But I also want to mention the other members of our board and give thanks to them. Maury Howers, Paul Horgan, Brad Huff, Del Richmond, Andy Turok, Al Thomas, and there are a number of former members that are in this audience as well. So to the select board, to Senator Moore, and to Alicia and Marshall, all of us thank you for coming out. Thank you, Jim. Now the Westboro High School a cappella group, Don't Panic, will perform America the Beautiful. so much that was beautiful I would like to thank all of our event participants dignitaries invited guests the Westboro Police Department and Fire Department Police Chief Minardi the Department of Public Works the Senior Center the Veterans Advisory Board our Grand Marshal Mike Beretti and you the great citizens of Westboro for coming out today to honor those who fought to defend our Liberty on behalf of the Westboro Veterans Advisory Board and the Police Department, I wish you all a wonderful, happy, and safe Veterans Day. Thank you so much.